So a couple months ago, I made a video talking about why I get so frustrated with people on the left when they praise conservative figures for occasional rational takes. So Tucker Carlson is one. People like Jenk Yuga, Jimmy Dore, lots of other people make videos about Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson is the only one who will give Tulsi Gabbard a fair shake. Tucker Carlson maybe talks about why Bernie Sanders is appealing. Oh, he's so great. I'll just ignore that he's a complete racist and pushes awful dog whistles all the time. And he's not even really subtle about it, talking about America becoming dirtier because of an influx of Hispanic immigrants. Dog whistles, dog whistles. It's not even really veiled, is it? So that is my problem with people on the so-called left praising people like Tucker Carlson. I don't care if they're right 90% of the time, but then the other 10% they're pushing racism because you don't endorse people like that because it makes their message seem more legit. You sanitize them. If you're doing it at Ben Shapiro, which people don't do as much, you are sanitizing them. So don't do it. There are plenty of people who have the right takes and they do it all the time. Support them. Don't sort of say, oh, Tucker Carlson, he's one of the good ones, occasionally has a rational take, he's not as crazy as Donald Trump, maybe, even though he's just as racist. So here is another example of why you shouldn't rehabilitate awful conservative commentators like Tucker Carlson. So I'm not going to play the video because I think it'll be copyrighted. I'll, I'll have a look, maybe I will, but I'm going to read an article from Salon just talking about it. So Tucker Carlson, Chinese students studying in the US are children of the people who are trying to displace us. Carlson went beyond racial dog whistles when he questioned whether we should allow Chinese students in US colleges and warned that the government of China is trying to displace us. He says, we can start by ceasing the subsidizing the education of the children of the Chinese elite, said Carlson. I know this is off topic, but I can't resist, because you're a racist, our colleges and universities, almost every one of which is supported by taxpayers in the end, educate at a net loss the children of the people who are trying to displace us. Why are we doing that? We can start by ceasing the subsidizing of the education of the Chinese elites. Why are we doing that? Carlson's guest, Senator Josh Hawley, agreed, yeah, and we also allow those educational institutions to take money directly, almost from the Chinese government. These Confucius Institutes, as they're sometimes called, Tucker, they are on campuses all across the country, directly subsidized by Beijing. You might ask, why do American campuses allow their Chinese government outposts on their own campuses? And the reason is they get paid to, and it's actually lucrative. So yes, we got to stop this cozy deal in Beijing on our campuses. So again, for some of my conservative friends who might be watching this, you might say, what is wrong with that? He's pushing back against Chinese propaganda. It's the way they frame it. And I'm going to talk about the hypocrisy of an American saying this. The way they frame it, they're trying to displace us. They're trying to infiltrate our country. They're trying to take over. And, and we're paying for it as well. We're paying for these scary Chinese communists to come to the country and displace us. Re really erode our American-style institutions. We should not be funding this stuff. So again, it's thinly veiled racism. This is probably a lesser example, not as bad as the one I mentioned earlier, but the hypocrisy of an American saying this, Harvard has outlets and, and campuses throughout the world. Multiple American universities do. And why do they do that? Do they do that out of the goodness of their hearts? It's called soft power. So America doing that to really ingrain themselves in every element of life around the world. So when they have campuses in, in different parts of, of Asia for Harvard and places like that, it's so students become accustomed to this American style of university and it just projects American influence. So soft power can be a variety of things. So the Peace Corps in America, right, might do good work but at the end, it's still a tool of the US empire to project their influence and their image around the world. Hollywood is still a big one, even though it's not as controlled as it once was back in, I guess, the 50s. Still a big one for American soft power. All these corporations that are American help export this version of America around the world. And in countries like Vietnam, I can't believe how popular, for example, Barack Obama was when he went over there, and how popular American culture is over, over there. Considering what America did for that country, only like a generation ago, 1975, the war ended, 1973, the US pulled out. And, and they love American stuff. And that is such a great tool for America. And they do it through a variety of ways, like I explained, universities, the entertainment industry, music to a lesser extent, and also things like the Peace Corps. So for Tucker Carlson to even complain about, oh, the Chinese government, we're subsidizing these Chinese activist groups that are coming into the US and we shouldn't let as many Chinese students in. So again, in, in the wake of this global pandemic as well, where 
Lots of Asian people have been attacked because they've sit because they're seen as carriers of this global pandemic because it originated in China. You think you'd be more careful with your words if you weren't a racist. But now he is targeting Chinese students during this pandemic. Again, it's fa this one is a bit more veiled, but at the same time, it's not very hard to dissect this issue. And obviously, it goes without saying it's totally wrong to single out a group of people. There are numerous groups in universities who come from different countries with politics that you might not agree with, who are members of maybe political organisations you don't agree with either. So you have people from all around the world. So that can be Saudi Arabia, that can be from all these emirates in, in the Gulf. It can be from these countries where people have these views and they join organisations at the universities of places you might not agree with and politics you might not agree with. While you might not agree with the politics, you live in a so-called free country of freedom of speech. So if these Chinese students came in and wanted to form a sort of Chinese Communist Party organization, they're free to do that because you're meant to live in a free country. You're allowed to be a communist in America. You're allowed to be a foreign Chinese student who is also a communist. I know you might say they don't have a choice, but again, they're in your country. That's the freedom for them. And this kind of thinking as well, I think plays into the cultural Marxism stuff I often talk about is that not only are universities hotbeds for the infiltration of American society by Marxist professors who indoctrinate all the students, also now they've got Chinese agents working there because they've got so many Chinese students. Again, on all levels, I just find it a ridiculous argument. And please, please, please stop giving this guy credit when maybe he says one thing that is rational. Who cares? People who are crazy and racist can occasionally say something that is rational. And you can get that in your head and still be like, that guy's a piece of shit. And I don't need to, I don't need to give him credit for this because there are loads of people who are always on the right side of these issues. So I'm just gonna prop these guys up more and not give any time for these sorts of people. And you might also say people like Tucker, when they say the rational things, that means that they might get through to their audience. But think if you listen to Tucker Carlson every day and Fox News every day, what sort of person you are. So even if you're like Tucker and you have this one good take, it doesn't matter because the rest of your beliefs are total garbage. And at the end of the day, you're always gonna vote for Donald Trump and the Republicans. So who cares if you have one rational take about one singular issue? So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, please like the video if, if you liked it, maybe subscribe. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately, so that's really great. Um, if you wanna find me on social media, that is just at the Cavernacle on Twitter, which is the main one, but also Instagram and Facebook. Reddit is a big one for me as well. So you slash Tommy KO 1995 for my personal Reddit and R slash the Cavernacle for my subreddit and both about 40 people or so. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but especially for a personal account, that's a fair amount of followers. So I'm appreciative for anyone who comes over to Reddit. Check out my Patreon and my WordPress in the description. Uh, thanks to everyone who has given me money for my Patreon, especially in times like these. I'm really, really grateful. And yeah, if you made it this far, thank you for watching.